the first time when I came here. Of course, it was a different because uh, always is a different to change a country. But uh, from the beginning, I'm feeling very, very good here. And I came to Rostov, and uh, you know, we just I think we landed here late at night, and uh, we just went here to to this training training station and. Uh, and I slept there. There was not a lot of things that I saw. And the day after, I went with some of the guys out just to see the city, and it's been very good. I thought it was a little bit dangerous place, and uh, maybe the people wouldn't be so nice and stuff like this. I don't know where these ideas come from. If it's from the news or the, some movies, people are are a little bit afraid of Russia and Russian people. But I've been here uh, for three years and for three clubs and uh, now I feel very comfortable and I know that my feelings when I came here they were not correct. We didn't know where we were going. We looked at it through the window, left and right, how it looks. I was surprised that it's a beautiful city. Bad news from the Western journalists and the newspapers, but uh, uh, I was not scared, to be honest. I was just uh, like uh, going somewhere uh, that at that time was not really a familiar place uh, for me. نه اما اولش خب کسایی بودن این که به من خیلی کمک کردن و همونا هم الان به من دارن خیلی کمک میکنن و اولش قطعا برای من سخت بود چون اومدم یه فرهنگ دیگه و با عادت میکردم به این فرهنگ ولی خب الان شو الان همه چیز خدا شکر بود روی اون پنسی رو که که پیر از کلتا و مگاری که که فرس رو نچیتا اون پای سی دیفیچی لی پر ویوره پرو کونه سونا رویاتو مثلا ترواتو سوبیتو بینه و ترواتو un país tranquilo donde se puede vivir tranquilamente. La misma razón siempre piensas en el, en el frío de exteriormente sobre el frío, el clima que hay aquí, ¿no? Pero después por lo otro no tengo ningún problema ya que he tenido compañeros que han jugado aquí en Rusia y, y me comentaron que, que el frío era igual que, que en Europa, que en Alemania. Marcelo Canesta Ты играешь в Бразилии, и приглашение с Россия, и, и не знаю, особенно на поду погода. А в Бразилии, если ты скажешь, я живу в России, они все испугались, потому что ну, как ты можешь жить в России, там холодно. Но здесь не так. On June 14th, Russia will become home to the main football event, the FIFA World Cup. For a month, 32 nations will be clashing for the right to be named the one and only champion. Hundreds of thousands of supporters will come to Russia to see the games. For many of them, as well as for those who are still thinking whether to go or not, Russia is a distant and enigmatic land, and not always is the image positive. There are lots and lots of negative stereotypes that don't actually work. And who would be a better mythbuster than a foreign international playing in Russia? Every country is different, you know. There's different culture here in Russia and then in Spain and in Belgium. Of course, uh, Belgium and uh, I played in Norway as well is more similar culture to what I'm used to at home in Iceland. But uh, the opportunity just came uh, to play in Rostov and uh, I'm happy I made the right decision to come here. I came from Iceland to Sweden and then Denmark and it was very easy for me to adapt and I thought maybe it was some, something that I had but these cultures are so similar, that's why it was easy. The culture here is very different, the people are different and that's why it just takes more time. It's just the mentality and uh, how people think about certain things, some situations 
it's really different fro from uh, my Icelandic style. So that's the that's the main thing you have to adapt to. For me and Rostov, everyone at the club and everyone in the city has opened me very welcome, and uh, they've been they've been helping me a lot with everything to settle in, and uh, it's obviously very nice to be uh, in uncomfortable uh, surroundings around people who want who want you to be here. Iceland internationals Ragnar Sigurdsson and Sverrir Ingesson have long been living in Rostov-on-Don, where they are responsible for the concrete-like defense of the local team. But not only they, another foreigner playing here is Maciej Viljus. <laughs> the Icelandic Vikings were not afraid of Russia, but what about the Pole? No, I wasn't worried. I, I knew it, it would be different, but... Uh... When I came here, it, it wasn't so different. I think it's uh, quite the same. The, the people are very friendly and uh, that's, that's very good, that's very nice and I like it a lot. I've gotten to know a lot of people and everybody is so yeah, sweet and nice. Uh, yeah, especially as, as, as my experience at least. You don't want to be too open uh, in the beginning. But once you get to know each other, it's, it's completely different. I think uh, there is not, not a lot of difference between uh, the Icelandic people and the Russian uh, in that way. Everywhere when I, where I go with my wife and uh, we need help, I can see that the people are very open and uh, very helpful. It helps also my wife, because for her it was also a big difference, big step to, to leave Poland and uh, to live with me in, uh, in a different country. So she's feeling also very good here. Люди вообще тоже очень приятные, добрые, такие хотят всегда помочь. Постоянно мне говорю, если что-то тебе нужно, обращайся к нам, мы тебе поможем. Никогда у меня никаких там неприятных ситуаций, неприятных моментов не было. And here is Vilish's countryman, Maciej Ribos. He lives in the Russian capital, one of the world's biggest cities, Moscow. This season, Maciej and his team, Lokomotiv Moscow, won the Russian league title. Among his teammates, there is a lot of high-skill foreigners. The two most notable players at Lokomotiv are Jefferson Farfan of Peru and Vedran Chorluka of Croatia, who are also leaders of their national teams. Gracias a Dios, eh, yo he llegado a una familia que es el Lokomotiv y me han recibido muy bien a pesar de, de lo que hablaban del frío y todas las cosas que que hablan en los exteriores. De verdad, eh, yo me sentí muy cómodo. Es un Para mí es como un lugar muy caliente. Every year is getting better and better, especially now even because of the World Cup. I can't say that I see a lot of cities, but uh, everyone knows about uh, St. Petersburg, that is an amazing, real European city. They even say it's Venice of, uh, of Russia. Argentina's rising star Leandro Paredes has been living in St. Petersburg only for a year, but is calling the city one of the most beautiful places he has ever visited. Sinceramente, it's a city that is beautiful. It's a city that I've lived in. Certainly, Non mi piace questo di paragonare le, le cose, non l'ho mai fatto, però è una, una delle città più belle del mondo. A vedere i posti più belli della città, a recorrere quello che sono i musei, perché ci sono tanti, quindi sono loro che, che vedono più di me. However, there are lots of other great places in Russia, which are not on your standard go-to list. Consider Kazan. Here, the local team features an Iranian international, Serdar Azmun. احساس خیلی خوبی داشتم میدونستم یه شهری دارم میام کاملا مسلمان و مردم های خیلی خوب با فرهنگ خیلی خوب و از هیچی نمی ترسیدم همه چیز اوکی بود همینطور که همین الانش هم که همه چیزش اوکی آره میمون نوازم و به نظر من in the winter, I 
winter is is uh, like comparing to Poland. It's not not much not, not much different, and uh, of course it's, it's cold as a winter. Sí, sí, he sentido el frío normal como lo he sentido también en Alemania, lo he sentido en Holanda. No era el frío que, que, que todos hablaban, que no se podía, eh, no sé, ni entrenar. No, la única cosa que me han quedado es si sí, por el tiempo libre para Fredo, pero le he dicho que no, que estamos siamo en un clima bueno, donde se puede estar benísimo, porque yo son, ya he estado en el clima allí y se está muy bien, así que estoy tranquilo. I didn't expect that that here will be so so uh, so hot in, in summer because it was uh, close to 40 degrees uh, I remember and uh, yeah in the summer it's very hot. Uh, we're driving to the training is in uh, it's 20 degrees today so this would be probably one of the best days of the summers in Iceland to have have a day like this. Verano es como en todos lados muy cálido como ahora y que va a ser mejor en la Copa del Mundo, ¿no? Un ejemplo. Я больше там чувствую, что холодно в Куритиба, чем здесь. В Куритиба, например, когда там зимой идёт, там холодно тоже. Бывает 8 градусов, 7. Для у нас там это холодно. И там нету всей инфраструктуры, которая здесь есть, которую можно загреть дома внутри. И там внутри дома ты должен ходить с кофтой, потому что там холодно. И поэтому я скажу, что здесь, в России, у меня меньше чувство, что холодно, чем там. Бразильский натив Гильермо feels warm in Russia not only because of weather. The country accepted him very well, and the people love him. Гильермо has been playing at Lokomotiv since 2007, has been named the team's captain, and Russia has become so integral to him that he decided to apply for citizenship and play for the Russian national team. Я не просто получил гражданство, я уже здесь давно живу. Я учусь учиться русский язык. Я экзамен сдам, экзамен серьезно. Там ходит девушка, смотрит, если обманя и невозможно чего не делать. И дай бог, что она, я все сделал там правильно, но было несколько ошибок, которые можно. Ну, повезло. От Бразилии есть много кто против, есть много кто думает, что я заинтересен, но не интерес никак и нет. Честно говоря, я уже чувствую как русский. Это сложно говорить, но это честно. Все, что русский футбол сделал для меня, я хочу, как возвращая это, как подарок, Играй для России. Это с особым вещем. Это как я могу сказать, что как спасибо России за все, что вы сделали для меня. Я все сделал, что я стал русский, поэтому я думаю, что я могу сказать, что я русский. Not a lot of people speak English here, and we don't speak.
Of course, like um, uh, Ray was like, Gilles and Delogne. Right now, I'm at my limit of difficult words, and they are there. I mainly work in the Russian State Social University. We have a volunteer centre, and nearly all of our volunteers can speak English. However, it's, it's very, very useful, even just for a bit of respect, that fans will learn just a few words, as thank you, and so on. If you say that to a shop assistant, they'll immediately smile and you know, feel more open towards you. So I think learning a few words of Russian will definitely help. Irish sports journalist Alan Moore has a reason to advise foreigners to learn Russian. Alan learned the language on his own and has been feeling very well here for more than 10 years. Part of the Capital FM station, the Britain is amused by the Russian football and namely the fans. The unique thing uh, that I find in most clubs here is that fans don't care if it's your first time. Because if you go, for example, to a Premier League match in England and it's your first time to a game and you just go over, you get a ticket and you say, I just want to go see a game, the fans there will be quite snobbish. They'll think, oh, like you're just a tourist, you're a day tripper, they call them. You come to a football match in, in Russia and you make friends for life. It's unique. It doesn't happen in Germany where I lived and I worked with football clubs as well. It doesn't happen in England. If you just come in to watch a game, they'll kind of go, you're not real, you're not real. But here in Russia, the fans want you to come to more games and they're proud of their games. And this is, I think, the unique selling point of Russian football is just the fans make people feel at home. The new stadium of Rostov, the Rostov Arena, is, uh, is looking very good. The river place in Rostov is also very beautiful, so it's a nice place. I think the supporters will enjoy it. Play for your national team in a stadium where you play for your club. I think it's a big advantage for us and uh, obviously for the Icelandic team because I think every people from Rostov here will be coming to support for Iceland in this game. We want to feel like when we play this game, like we play a home game here. صد در صد چون هوادار اینجا واقعا هوادار خیلی خوب هم میدونم که میان ما رو تشریم میکنم به خاطر من هم که شده چون un stadio molto molto bello Io penso che, che il nostro è il più bello di tutti veramente hanno fatto stadi bellissimi hanno fatto stadi d'elite del de primo livello e penso che questo non solo per il mondiale sino per il campionato russo era molto bello the infrastructure and the stadiums, all the things that uh, Russia done until now. It's amazing job and I think anyone who comes here, they will be delighted with things that Russia done and uh, for me, success 100% for everyone. All the tickets are already bought, so I'm sure that any...
places many nice restaurants where you can sit uh, and wait for the next games on uh, on World Cup. Да, пожалуйста, борщ для меня, а потом э, вареники из картошки. Из напитка что-нибудь? Э, вода без газа, пожалуйста. Холодный или холодный? Холодный. Мы были в очень хороших ресторанах здесь. Я думаю, конечно, мы не далеко от дома, поэтому есть много различий во всем. Но ресторанные ресторан и фудов были очень хорошими. Три вещи. Борщ. Quale? Borsche. Cosa è Borsche? Una zuppa, una zuppa rossa. Una zuppa rossa. L'ho provata, ma l'hanno fatto anche qua. Buona. Mm. Blini. I like with uh, Nutella, but they don't do it here that much. So I tried one with uh, meat and it was really nice. And people should try and I think they will be, it will be really tasty. And uh, vodka, obviously. Sí, yo no, no me gusta el vodka a mí. No, no pues no. para probar, pero puedes aconsejar a los torcedores eh, peruanos de probar la vodka. Sí, a los, a los que les gusta, sí, claro, que prueben de todas maneras. Vodka is, I don't want to say number one, so the people don't think that I'm alcoholic or something, but obviously. Who can afford it? Uh, caviar as well is a must. We're now sitting in a restaurant. You've chosen some Russian food. Do you like it? I need to. I need to try it because I, I always eat the vareniki with uh, potato. With potatoes, yeah. It's kartoshkem, kartoshkem. Yeah. So I try this one. Спасибо. Mm. Oh, the food is here. The food here is also very good and I think the most uh, supporters who will come here they will and they will uh, be positive surprise. Uh, if you need something, some souvenirs and from the champions of Russia, you can go there in the fun shop and buy some nice Share from Charluca. This is the for the Croatian fans. <laughs> you have to take back in Matroshka. That's the, the nesting doll. Radnim, when the first time I came to Russia, this is Matroshka. What's the name? Matroshka. Ah, no, we call it Mamushka. No, Matroshka. No, in Spanish it's called something like T-shirts with something like, you know, I'm with the KGB or something like this. Like a Russian hat would be good for the winter in Iceland. Claro, de Rusia, pero en Perú no hace tanto frío, o sea que no necesitan, ¿sabes? I think that many people are just speaking bad things about Russia or even about Poland because they never meet, they've never been there, they've never been in Russia. There are people who don't know any knowledge about the world, people who read something uh, bad in a newspaper and then think uh, that's it. To know place you need to visit place and I think that any people who comes to Moscow and to Russia they will be really surprise how pretty is Moscow and how the people are open and uh, how happy is this place to be honest. But the fact that there was this information war going on, say Russia is bad, Russia is bad, Russia is bad, of course we have then the hugely um, antagonistic and angry uh, reports coming out of the English media especially because the English language is so powerful. So I think that um, luckily Russia is growing more confident in itself. There's more and more English speakers. It's, it's developing very, very quickly. I think that the, in terms of criminality, corruption and even racism and discrimination, doping, 
it's being fixed within Russia by the people themselves. So it's something that other countries are still trying to do, uh, but Russia is actually in, a, in, an, in an improvement cycle right now. Tutto il resto non, non era per niente vero perché mi sono trovato in una città tranquilla, un paese molto tranquillo che la gente è colta bene, quindi tutto l'altro era falso. Let's say when we are driving on the road uh, that someone can pull a gun if you, uh, let's say, have an argument with him on the road or something like that, uh, that there is a lot of uh, Mafia killings or some stories like that, but to be honest, uh, I never experienced that. When I came here, it's, it's not true. Uh, I, I never met people like this. Also, many foreigners are, are living in, in Russia, and uh, I never hear something about that, uh, about, about uh, ra racism here. So it's not true, and uh, many times I'm just thinking, who is, who is making those stories? And, uh, Totally not true. There are issues surrounding racism and discrimination in the wider society and in football as well and in sports. However, this is lessening and it's getting easier and people are recognizing it more. And a lot of it is because people, uh, just on the topic of racism and discrimination, in the stands, the clubs and fans are working together to take control of it. So the, the fans themselves have to say, we don't want this anymore because it's not right. These people are human beings, they people deserve respect and they deserve to be treated well. No, la realidad es totalmente otra. Este, he escuchado también lo mismo, por eso que muchas personas, que muchas personas tienen un poco de temor de venir aquí a Rusia. Las personas aquí son super, como te digo, amables, eh, tratan a todos de igual igual. No he visto ningún problema de, de, de que haya este racismo, así bueno, de con, conmigo no. Assolutamente no. Ma io no, non ho visto quello in, in quest'anno. Io ho visto i tifosi che ci hanno seguito da tutte le parti, sempre per bene, sempre eh, ascoltandoci, ascoltandoci bene, e sempre lì sul, sul pezzo nostro. Quindi per noi è stato sarà veramente bello quello perché sono stati sempre vicino a noi. Здесь никогда я на матче чемпионата России никогда не случилось что-то необычное на стадионе. Всегда поддержка хорошая. Все болельщики болеют за свои команды. Очень приятно находиться. Приходит семья с детьми. И вот и так должно быть на, на чемпионате мира. I would not say that there is, like I've always said, there's, that there's no problems. Uh, I'll not ignore them and say, and try to make kind of like propagandize or say no there's no problems I'll, I'll tell the truth but I'll also seek to try balance and uh, of course in my, my main day job as a director of a, a college here with Russian students I'll always try to ensure that they understand that uh, even though they might see reports from outside of Russia that saying Russia is quite bad that they should read between the lines and make up their own mind. Everything is fine, everything is here, what you need uh, to, to feel comfortable, to feel easy, quiet, don't be scared about nothing. The supporters who will come here, uh, they will be happy to, to visit Russia. The Russian people and the Russian government and everyone around here will try to do as best as they can. Probably they want to host the best World Cup yet. Any ideas that you have, they're probably wrong, so uh, just come to Russia and try to enjoy it because it will be a great experience for a lot of people to come here. We will promise that they have a good time. It will be like like big party. Witajcie w Rosji. Dobro došli u Rusiju. Witamy w Rosji. A hundred thousand welcomes to Russia. Bienvenido a Rusia. Bienvenidos a Rusia. Welcome to Rusia.